this is uh, related to the creating the system call in square of linters are system call so okay. grep grep is used to basically find a certain text in our uh, programs so by using this we found that our uh, to add a system call we must modify uh, some some certain header files so those are syscall.c syscall.h sysprop.c user.h and usfiles.s most likely we replicate all of them for our square syscall so one thing um, syscall.h and uh, so okay let's just start with it go practical so to exit the cumulator we'll be we'll be entering control a and x just a second when my footage is crashed Uh, so CD XV is one. Let's then have all the files. So just uh, so make cumulator X cumulator just started and so I come to exit this cumulator control A X so my cumulator will be terminated here. So we'll be adding a file, we'll be modifying some of the files here. Uh, so let's just start with syscall.h. Syscall.h to create a file name is syscall.h. So to access the file name syscall.h, we'll use our text editor which is in the i. syscall.h. So these are all the defined. So, so this is basically our uh, system calls. Uh, number allocation every system call will be having a certain number allocated to it so we will be adding our square which will be sequential order this is underscore square and this is a certain format so one will be my uh, four system calls uh, number and two will be my exit and so on close will be 21 and my newly defined square system call will be having the number 22 which is sequential order as you can see so now let's just close the uh, colon wq so we modify this call dot h now vi this call dot c so this call dot c this is our this call dot c so now uh, we need to do two modifications which will be external in sys underscore square of system editors, so it's, yeah. so one thing is it returns an integer value, so we'll be saying it as void, and we'll be making a modification. Of underscore square this underscore square and let's just close this for now that's a modification side thing so one now we'll be going with sysprop.c ai sysprop.c sorry Adam, this uh, so basically rm is a remove command so i accidentally created a sysprop dot file which is uh, basically relevant for now so i just removed it vi sysprop dot c so this is already existing one so in This is underscore square void uh, 
point start consent from comma signs the num num which is square so that's our program so next we'll be doing what we do this so uh, we will be modeling user dot h b i user dot h here we will be adding a uh, in square and part two two as y as dots. Here we will be adding this call of square. Okay. So we successfully added a system call. So now let's just write a program to it. So I will be going through a different program from what is given here. So let's just do one thing. Let's just uh, go through this program once. And I will be giving a little modification of it. Okay, so to create a program, pi. This is my custom program. Let's just name it square. So to start inserting and i, which will convert our program to insert mode. So first line hash include h dot h hash include start dot h hash include user dot h in main okay. So we have what the the usual syntax of printf is different from what we are using here. Square of seven is percentage b which will be returning from the square system of seven which I sent here. And as usual, our uh, last line will be return z so that's uh, sorry a uh, small change so as we are uh, dealing with x basic operating system here every process need to be exited before it's we end our state so instead of return zero we'll be using exit so we'll be giving it exit so that's our problem now as i have told make file is one of the most important We'll be changing the make file to add our program as a command in explicit simulator. So we are make file and the uh, extra extra so extra will be giving as square dot c along with extension square dot c and then we'll be adding the u by adding the program u blocks score. Know that we have to keep underscore before everything and square without any extension, just square. Okay. And, look what. and let's just make sure everything is fine. It is fine. We just make make it just for compilation. Make clean. We get a clean image and we'll run the cumulator. Make cumulator. So started running. So we started. Let's make this. Let's enter this. As you can see, we got our uh, square, which is a good thing for now. And let's just enter square here. Square of for seven is for ten. Here, let's add a small change to make sure to avoid confusion. And here, let's add a backslash. Just escape character for next line. So same thing. Accumulator box ls square yeah square of seven is quarter but what I'm about to tell is why give a constant um I mean 
why give a fixed input a user may want to give some something else so let's try doing this one so as here square dot c RC, we found the argument and cat star R. Okay, let's just say in bed. It's working. It's purely experimental, but it works in pseudo. If RC equals to two, uh, we have um, not sufficient arguments. So two is used for standard error and one is used for write operation. So we have mentioned one error and two which is used, we used it to denote an error here. So next and we will be just a second. We will end we will just end close it with flower dresses and we will be adding one statement here which is exit to stop the execution here so uh, in from the same so r b sorry And then it does, I just have something where, where to verify first. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, so, yeah, set it, set that. Sorry, it's not uh, in the cat. Is this should but I'll just verify it again. This will be the direct thing which will be useful for us. So let's do and uh, first thing would be n comma and uh, square of n. This is square of c just to make sure. Where, uh, sorry, yeah, so we have added a custom user input. Actually, it's not mentioned around here. I just tried it for uh, something. So, we did the uh, first killing part. So, that's it, guys. This is how we add a system call to our XVC. So, Exit, control A, X.